Oftentimes, when someone buys a classic car, the history of the car becomes a blank slate. The neglect or the changing of an owner can often mean that the history of the car becomes forgotten, but not in the case of John Cook's 1955 Bel Air. Little did he know when he bought his dream car that it included over 60 years of wonderful memories. Hello everybody, I'm Christine Danchuk and here with me today is John Cook from Carlisle, Illinois and we have here his 55 Bel Air. So tell me, what is so unique about your car? When I was growing up, my dad took me to the dealerships to look at 55 Chevys and I've loved them ever since. It just took me about 40 years to be able to have <laughs> to one. To finally get one. Yeah, yeah. But it was worth the wait because this is gorgeous. The, the interesting part of this car is, is I'm only the second owner. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the first owner bought it in, in, in um, July 1955, and he passed away in, in September of 07. And his son sold it to me two, two uh, months later. So it really is a unique car, particularly in the, in the region of Illinois where I live. Everybody knows it, knows where it was, and who had it, and why. And he sure did take good care of it. It looks amazing. He, he, he certainly did. In about 1980, he restored it and had it repainted. And from then on, he only uh, left it, uh, let it go outside to go to shows if it wasn't even cloudy anywhere within all of Southern Illinois. So he was very particular with it. So you probably only had to do minor restorations then? Very minor things, uh, stainless steel on the side and, and some uh, some chrome on the dash. Uh, every It's the only car I have that everything works. And it works from the get-go. Radio, heater, light, everything. It's just a marvelous car. Well, that's a first to hear, too, because yeah. many, many uh, people have to work really hard with their cars and restore this and that, so you're pretty lucky. I think so. I, I When I'm driving the, these cars, I just feel fortunate that I'm the caretaker. I don't think anybody owns these cars. All I am is this caretaker and I love it. I just had a, a new interior put in it. Didn't need it, but I just wanted it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, some people have commented that I, I put the plastic seat covers over it because uh, I have seven grandchildren and I didn't <laughs> want them uh, spilling anything on it. So, so it's got plastic seat covers just like they did in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. Hot, I guess, in the uh, summer and cold in the winter. Yeah, and then you want your grandchildren to enjoy it. So now they can enjoy it and you can take them for rides. Right, that's exactly <laughs> right. So do you have any cool stories about this car? Well, there's one that puts a tear in my eye and that is uh, the owner of this car was the best man in a wedding in 1955 for his uh, friends and their wedding pictures were taken with this car. For their 25th anniversary, again, the pictures uh, were taken with this car. For their 50th, it was oh, taken wow. with this car. Then they lost track of it. Uh, the best man passed away, and I ended up with the car. And, and they did not know where it was, but they, were, they wanted their 60th with it. I took it to a, a car show in Highland, Illinois uh, for Father's Day, and we were parked. And, and a person brought up to me a to, to whom it may concern letter, and it was a letter explaining that they would like to have this car, if it showed up at the, um, at the show, they would like to have their 60th pictures taken with it. So mm -hmm. naturally I agreed. The next day I went out to their farm, 80 some year old couple of course, there were tears in his eyes when he saw the car. Mm -hmm. he, he said that it was as good as new, it looked as good as it ever did. He said his wife was a little slow, but she, he went to get her in the, in the farmhouse. She was not very slow coming down the stairs when she saw this gorgeous <laughs> car. So excited. <laughs> and, and, and I finally was sitting in the, in the uh, driver's seat talking to him uh, through the window, and they were standing next to me hand in hand while we, uh, we talked about what they wanted me to do. It really put a tear in my eye, too, that I could, could help those people. I mean, think of it, they, their whole married life was woven around this car. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was wonderful. That's really neat too that their marriage lasted so long <laughs> just as this car has lasted so long exactly. and it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. So you drove this car down to uh, the Tri-5 show here. Yes. How did it drive? It really drove wonderful. Um, it took us about uh, four hours or five hours because I'm very conservative with it. I don't mm -hmm. uh, go the speed limit with it. 
but it, it has its original um, power glide. It, ha it has the right motor, but not a matching, it's not a matching numbers, but it, it's the correct uh, 265. Mm -hmm. And it, like I said, it, everything works. It's just a wonderful, wonderful car. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate talking to you and learning a little bit about your story. And thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.